guys, thanks for tuning in today. What we are going to cover is uh, Lord's Mobile Kingdom vs Kingdom Kingdom Clash. What happens when KVK starts? All right. So for those now uh, who have just started playing uh, the game and before Kingdom Protection ends, you will get this notification that there is going to be an event. Okay special event and that will be Kingdom War so what basically Kingdom War means that uh, it will be similar to that of uh, uh, War of War of Wonders where all the wonders are open for fights and battles so uh, but what's different in Kingdom vs Kingdom in is that uh, you will there's three things so basically you see that all the castles and all the bases and uh, forts will be changed to this lava flowy thing yeah so that will indicate that you are in the target kingdom so this is not my kingdom this is another kingdom so you will see that all the enemies are instantly changed to uh, uh, this lava flowing uh, castles yeah instead of the normal regardless of their skin okay so that's the first thing that will be different and secondly that you are able to migrate to this kingdom without any migration scroll just using any random or teleport scroll so let me just show you how it works okay so you have this event preview you just click on the map and because I'm already inside the target kingdom so it's already uh, in but if you're not you can just click on the map here then there will be a pop-up that says are you ready to transport in okay so once you you click on that you will just use a random transport if you don't have a specific location if you have a specific location just go into the kingdom and click the place that you would like to transport to okay so that's the second thing that's different migrating to the kingdom to fight the KVK only requires one random teleport scroll or uh, a specific location scroll you do not need any migration scroll as per normal and all the restrictions that normally hold do not stay anymore okay so then the third change is that once you're inside the kingdom you are given four hours okay this battle period to fight so in my case wise I really came in like 45 minutes ago so that's why you see the the battle period uh, expires in 3 minutes 3 hours time so what it means is that it's within uh, 3 hours time even if you are uh, halfway through a battle or, 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 or uh, farming for resources you will be randomly put all the troops and you will be put back into the, car the, the kingdom that you came from okay so these are the 3 different uh, things when KVK happens, the skin of the castle and the base will be changed. Uh, coming into the target kingdom do not require migration scroll. And the third thing is that you have this battle period time bar, which tells you, give you four hours to do whatever that you want inside that kingdom that you do not belong to. Okay, so now let's move on to two tips for how to achieve your solo targets in solo war target in kvk so you will see here once you click into the event there's four ways you can earn points one is to occupy wonders okay so this is the standard like uh, uh, war of wonders where you occupy a base or forts and the longer you hold the more points you have so two tips for maximizing your points in in kvk one is to send maybe one or two troops and maximize your spec as long as you are confident that you are able to sustain any attack from uh enemies okay send one troop to all the base of forts if your guild is strong enough usually my guild does not participate actively so uh, i'll be doing it on a solo basis so this first way to get the point is out for me and secondly is to destroy traps and kill soldiers so what this means that is uh, you are able to fight any castles or even tau hit yeah you heard it correctly yes 
you are able to do tile heating in KVK and there's no taboo around it so you can look at those level 5 tiles and tile hit them if the player is still in la la land dreaming and sleeping just now when I came over there was quite a lot of uh, level 5 tile they are still there but now it seems like everyone has really uh, retrieved their troops back so what we see here is actually uh, so called fellow guys from our kingdom foraging here so I shall not tow hit them okay so then the third way to complete your solo war is to hunt monsters like normal like a monster hunt event and the last one is to gather resources which I'm doing right now so a tip for those who are gathering resources is to do boosting okay so you can see that I have a gather boost on so that uh, while I'm gathering it will be 50% faster than per normal okay so that's how to achieve your gather boost points your solo war points through gathering so I'm doing that now because I'm still waiting for my shoe to be worn out I have around 10 minutes more that before I'll start fighting so later I'm going to show you how I usually fight basically I'll just put on the anti shoe then I'll be ready for KVK now coming off oh actually I got no shoe anymore yeah <laughs> silly me so I'm now going to recall all my troops and get ready to show you war 